Hi, I'm just Fat Mwema, a project manager at Feed the Future Innovation Lab for Animal Health in Kenya, which is led by Washington State University. I support projects focused on improving nutrition in children and women through a better health of their livestock. I work closely with our project collaborators, which include the Government of Kenya at national level and the County Government of Narok at the subnational level. Other collaborators include the International Livestock Research Institute, Kenya Medical Research Institute, and the University of Nairobi. Today, I will be working in the lab, meeting with the project collaborators, and visiting our field office in Narok, a town west of Nairobi, to check our efforts to improve human nutrition and well-being. After a 20 minutes drive, I arrive at the lab, park my car, and venture into the office ready to start the day. My priority is responding to emails, connecting with colleagues, and forecasting project activities. Once these tasks are complete, it's time to meet with our project collaborators. I join the lab's director in the office to review status of our projects and activities and plan for the year ahead and address and support needed for the field teams. Next, I'm off to the Department of Clinical Studies at the University of Nairobi. While here, I meet with our postdoctoral scientist to check the lab's progress in testing field samples for East Coast fever. A disease in cattle caused by ticks. We review the lab's results and discuss plans for mentoring graduate students at the lab. My last stop of the morning is at the Count Government of Narok offices, where I meet with our government partner, Dr. Gideon Geyasha, the Count Director of Veterinary Services. Together, we discuss project activities, online training programs for the Count Government staff, and opportunities for further collaboration. Following a busy morning, I return to the lab and join my colleagues outside for lunch. It's back to work. I meet virtually with USID staff who are located in Washington, D.C. and participate in a virtual gender training before joining my team for a three-hour drive to the field office. Traveling there, we see lots of crops, wildlife, and people working in the fields. I arrive at the field office eager to meet the field staff study research participants, and observe field data collection in action. This field office consists of 600 households, each representing a family unit of the people who live together and eat from the same pot. The goal of this project is to improve the food consumption and nutritional status of young children and women of reproductive age. Today, I'm visiting to gather feedback on this project identify areas of improvement and listen to the study participants to ensure they are getting the support they need. Livestock is an important source of nutrition and income for these families. Selling livestock or their products generates income for households, which they can use to buy a variety of foods, improving overall nutrition. I interview participants to understand how they spend earnings from selling livestock and assess the nutrition status of women and children. The few data I collect today will be analyzed and shared with our project collaborators and other key partners to inform policy and drive future projects. Ending the day, I head home thinking about the rewarding experience of working with small older farmers to improve their livelihoods create resilience and improve nutrition for women and children. I'm grateful that amid the climate crisis, our work is improving livelihoods of communities.